This is question 30. College Board is asking for the measure of angle B in this quadrilateral where AD and BC are parallel. And this does not say not to scale, so you can assume it is to scale. Clearly, choice D is not correct because angle B is clearly greater than 90 degrees. You can use estimation. I'm going to draw a parallel line through B parallel to CD. Since this is a right angle and BCAD are parallel, this is a right angle, so this is also a right angle. I have a right triangle there. Angle A is clearly smaller than 45 degrees in this picture, so angle B is larger than 45, or this portion is greater than 45, where this is a right angle. So angle B is greater than 135. It can be only be 150. But let's do some actual math, because computations make us happy. That's why we do math. Since CD, this side, is one-half AB, then B, let's call it E, is one-half AB. If I say that BE is 1, then AB is 2, and the sine of angle A is opposite over hypotenuse is 1 over 2. The angle that has a sine of one-half is 30 degrees. So angle A equals 30 degrees. Since we have a 30 degree angle here and a 90 degree angle here. This angle is 60 degrees plus another 90 degrees for the right angle on the other side of line BE. So angle B equals 60 plus 90 equals 150 degrees. The same answer I got from estimation. College Board often asks you about angles in a parallelogram and about angles in a triangle. Remember that the angles in a triangle add up to 180 and remember your rules for angles in a parallelogram and lines intersecting parallel lines. And come back soon for my next video with math there's always more.